Welcome to the MBS Engineering Channel. Today, we will understand the topics below. Topic is, the type of pressure. Next, topic is, static pressure. A stationary fluid has static pressure. Next, topic is, dynamic pressure. Any fluid with velocity or flowing fluid has dynamic pressure. Next, topic is, total pressure. Total pressure is the sum of the static pressure and dynamic pressure of the fluid flow. The upcoming slides will discuss this topic. Next, we will learn and understand the static pressure. The static pressure is exerted by a fluid when it is at rest, or moving at a constant velocity. It is called, static pressure because it does not account for the dynamic effects of fluid motion, such as changes in velocity, or acceleration. Static pressure is the pressure exerted by a fluid when it is at rest. It is measured perpendicular to the fluid surface and is independent of the direction of flow. Static pressure equals rho g h. Rho is the density of the fluid. g is the acceleration due to gravity. H is the fluid depth or height. Next, we will learn and understand the dynamic pressure. Dynamic pressure represents the pressure exerted by a fluid due to its motion or velocity. A flowing fluid has dynamic pressure. It is directly related to the velocity of the fluid. Dynamic pressure is the pressure exerted by fluid movement. It is measured parallel to the direction of flow and depends on the velocity of the fluid. Dynamic pressure equals 0.5 into rho into v square. Where? Rho is the density of the fluid. V is the velocity of the fluid. Next, we will learn and understand the total pressure. Total pressure, also called stagnation pressure, is the sum of static pressure and dynamic pressure. Next, the total pressure is equal to the sum of the static pressure and dynamic pressure. Next, the total pressure is equals to static pressure rho g h, plus, dynamic pressure 0.5 into rho into v square. Where, rho is the density of the fluid. G is the acceleration due to gravity. H is the fluid depth or height. Rho is the density of the fluid. V is the velocity of the fluid. Next, compare and understand the static and dynamic and total pressure. Next, static pressure is the pressure exerted by a fluid when it is at rest. It is measured perpendicular to the fluid surface and is independent of the direction of flow. Next, dynamic pressure is the pressure exerted by fluid movement. It is measured parallel to the direction of flow and depends on the velocity of the fluid. Next, total pressure, also called stagnation pressure, is the sum of static pressure and dynamic pressure. Thank you for watching. We hope everyone understands the static pressure, dynamic pressure and then total pressure. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more informative videos. Please like and leave a comment.